Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have a double feature in none other than the French Premium Tier 7 battleship, the OG Jean Bar. So, with that being said, let's jump right into it. First match, we're going to be on Greece and we are going to uh, push very, very aggressively as always. Uh, you guys know the deal. Uh, this match is going to be a bit of a uh, raffle stomp, not going to lie. Second match is also going to be a bit of a raffle stomp, but y'all know how it is. We're going to have two games in under 20 minutes of, of overall video time. So, uh, what's that tell you? Yeah, they're going to they're gonna be quick. But uh, first game is going to be the longer of the two. But uh, we're on Greece. We've got a beautiful look at Broadside Amagi. We take the shot as he's going to be uh, just absolutely back and forth. I mean, good lord. Can you ask for a better looking shot? And uh, yeah, we get a good good result, 12 and a half thousand, and then somebody else punches him for another at least 12 to 15 K. Dude's not gonna be feeling very good about that, I'm not gonna lie. But we use our reload booster and we smack him and we actually sit at him. So dude is completely, at this point, he's basically dead. We're gonna get another shot here because of the reload booster. We're already ready to reload, we get it done. Shot's on the way, and we're figuring Amagi's dead at this point. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what happens. You know how RNG is. RNG giveth and RNG taketh away. And uh, there's a very formidable French battleship looking at us. And first time he shoots at us, knocks a gun. Yeah, I hate to see it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to push in and grab the island. You know how we do. Limit who can shoot us, right? We got lots of guys on our right. We got lots of guys on our left. We got to try to limit who can shoot us. Hey, try. Sorry. Just finished my railroad stream and try to put ourselves in a good position to uh, take advantage of finishing off one flank and then wrapping around and dealing with the other. That's the goal. And our goal here is to finish off the Omagi as quickly as possible, then the cascade begins. Get rid of the Omagi, then we can focus down the Republique, then potentially the Ochikov. But uh, actually, I decide now would be a good time to go bow into these guys because they're clearly pushing in. Bismarck is in front of the island here. So we need to try to start get dealing with him as quickly as possible. So we turn our back on the enemies that are behind us. They're turning away to run, so we don't need to do anything crazy. George is about to come out in front of the island as well. We're not going to rush out into these guys. There's no reason to. We're just going to stop. We know there are two destroyers here, so we got to be careful about that. There's definitely angry smoke screen right off the bow. Uh, but Georgia, I don't know what this guy's doing. He's clearly not reading the room. Doesn't see me posted up here in a perfect position to ruin his day. Uh, fortunately for him, you know, French magic bullets, they do, they do slap, but they also troll. So he lives for now. Surely he doesn't get away with it for a second shot, right? Dude is literally broadside, hasn't changed anything. He's still full broadside in front of me. Uh, you can see I'm trying to aim a little bit, get ahead of him. He's healing. We take the shot and we get another Citadel, but again, we leave him with just enough to get away. Just, you, know, you can't make it up, folks. Now, angry smoke screen has uh, started to dissipate, and you that can only mean one thing. Torpedoes are on their way, right? You know it's coming, so we're already using the islands to, to try to shield ourselves from potential torpedoes. And look at the torpedoes. Now here, we try to line up a shot on the Marco Polo on the back of the island here, and I'm not exactly sure what happens to this shot. It looked like it was going to be fine, and then it just didn't. Like, I hit him with five shells, but three of them were overpins, so it didn't get a lot of damage out of it. We're still at 105,000 damage. We're doing everything we need to do here. Um, we're going to start to move forward. We don't want to go crazy here. We took one torpedo on the belt, but uh, Bismarck is right here begging for it. So we got to try to slap him. Rin's in trouble. Our, our division mate, Rin, she's in trouble. We're going to try to push up and, and slap the crap out of this Bismarck. Keep, keep her alive if we can. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to keep her alive. Uh, she's caught in the sonar of the Bismarck. She's, she's pinned between the island. It's, it's a rock and a hard place, and yeah, it's not going to go well. So Rin goes down. We take another good shot into the Bismarck. Uh, take another 4K off of him, roughly. Fletcher comes out. We don't have the shot ready, unfortunately. We do have a, a freaking reload booster here, and I don't think we use it quite yet. We get set on fire by the Ochikov. Could have used the reload booster for that, but I'm actually saving the reload booster for this Bismarck when he comes around the corner. Uh, I know he's rushing forward, so we're going to try to reverse. 
put our valve towards them as best we can, have all the guns loaded, and have the reload booster available. We're going to be able to yoink all of the health off this man uh, in quick succession. That's the thought process behind this. That's why I, I held off. Didn't want to waste, or didn't want to use the reload booster just, just ahead of here. Now, obviously, torpedoes, we get out of the way of that. Um, no problem. There are torps going for the Bismarck here, but we're going to take a shot just to make sure. Uh, so we aim high here. We're not going to citadel them at this range, most likely. So we want as many shots to hit as possible. Unfortunately, RNG just said no, but uh, it doesn't matter. He took enough damage that if he takes a single torp here, he might die. Looks like he's actually outrunning the torps. So we take the shot, and Marco Polo, of all things, managed to put a shot through the bow side plating and finish him off. Um, so at least there's that. Now our cruiser buddy is back is running into us. We've got the Ochakov on the far side. But notice that the battleship and the cruiser to our rear is also starting to uh, potentially become an issue. There's a destroyer out there, but it's a destroyer versus a cruiser and a battleship. So he could potentially get into a lot of trouble real quick. We're at 133k. We're having a pretty good game at this point. But uh, this Ochakov, I mean, hitting an Ochakov at these kind of ranges is darn near impossible. So we're going to try to get around the corner, wait for the mountain symbol to disappear. We take the shot. Knowing we've got a good look here, he's starting to move forward a little bit, but that should be a solid hit. And uh, sure enough, we get robbed again. We break a gun and only get two full penetrations and an overpin for next to nothing in damage. Which, again, no idea how that works. French magic bullets can be absolutely amazing, but they can also be incredibly troll. And uh, that was the case in this this instance. But you can see we're, we've still got him measured up. We take the shot just as he goes dark. No idea if we're going to get the kill or not, but we just hope for the best at this point. He pops back up for just a split second. All of our shells managed to miss, probably hit the island. Um, or we lost track of him just in time. But you can see he's still available. We're trying to outrun the torpedo right now. And we're just going to take a shot over the island, try to finish him off. He gets hit one more time got no health left easy kill and we take him down now there's 830 points on the board the battleship and the cruiser behind us aren't really a threat we have two battleships back air dealing with them so rather than trying to help those guys i'm just going to push out here and see if i can't corner this uh this destroyer and ochikov destroyer is obviously on our left so we don't have to really worry about him. He's obviously launching from either a very long ways away or widespreading. Either way, not the biggest threat to us currently. So we're just going to turn away from him. I don't know if we use our engine boost here or not, but game's almost over at this point. You can see Fletcher pops up behind us. I can't do anything about that. Uh, Ochikov, right off our bow. About to go behind another island, unfortunately, so we're not going to get a shot at him right away. Uh, we take a torpedo from a friendly but we're fine. Thank God friendly fire isn't a thing. But uh, yeah, by the time this guy comes around the island, this game's over. We just killed one of their battleships, or their last battleship. So all that's left is a destroyer, two cruisers, and this game's over. Um, 960 points. Can't, it doesn't get much easier than this, folks. Like we, we did everything we needed to do, play the terrain properly, put ourselves in a good position to stop the enemy's push, and... We have the Ochakov right here just absolutely begging for it. We reach out to try to touch him. He gets turned away just enough, and all of our shells do basically nothing. And, of course, he lands every one of his shells, gets a fire, because balance. Uh, we're going to try to hit him again. He's going to—he's not at very far range, and he's not moving all that fast. But for whatever reason, our shells were just, like, refusing to hit this man. He turns out again. Should be a hit, but we get, like, nothing again. Like, it's just not happening. So, we're going to aim a little bit higher this time and see if we can't strip some more of his, his health away. We've got all four caps. This game's over. And if anybody dies at this point, the game's over. 983, last shot we're going to get. We take it. He turns out, but he doesn't turn out as hard as we thought he was going to. And we miss once again, and that's the game. So 137,000 damage, one kill. Not the, not the greatest game ever, but a pretty solid game overall. Uh, shows good positioning, shows, you know, paying attention to the minimap, watching what the enemy's doing, and just trying to stop them. 2200 base XP, just a solid team effort there. Now we're going to be on Sea of Fortune, and this one's going to be a bit a bit different. We're still going to use the ship as a, uh, as a really, like, 
hard push. You guys know I'm very aggressive. But we're going to use the islands once again to close the distance. We're going to try to be getting into caps. We're going to try to help our team as best we can. And once again, it's going to be an absolute raffle stomp. But this one's got a little twist to it. Uh, so I, I can't wait to show you guys that one. Because uh, it's really unfortunate how it ends up. But either way, I, I look at the mini-map first. We got two cruisers on the right with a, with a battleship. Um, we have two battleships on the left with a destroyer. We have a destroyer in the middle, which is Ren, and we have our cruiser in the middle with me. So depending on what we want to do here, we need to figure out how we want to div divide the team. And honestly, I don't normally go like up into the middle of this map. But I felt like this was a good good time to do it because you have Ren ahead of us. Uh, she's going to be able to spot. She's in a DD that can easily counter other DDs. And she's got me as backup with a reload booster on standby. So we should be able to deal with any sort of uh, you know, destroyer threat right off the bat. Uh, at least in theory. Now, the unfortunate side is I was looking to see if anybody gets spotted early. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, Hood gets spotted out in the distance. We're going to go ahead and take a quick reflex shot. All auto-aim off the, off the side here. Uh, not expecting a lot out of it. Suja then gets spotted off our bow. Uh, we get one overpin, and then we get absolutely smashed by the Missouri on the other side of the map. Like, literally lobs the island from God knows where. And manages to hit us and, and not just hit us but do really really good damage here we see that the Akatsuki is thinking about slowing down so we we place the shot directly on him we get two pins there we're not going to actually use our uh, our reload booster on this guy because Rin has them sonared and should be able to easily kill him from the smoke screen here uh, or at least I thought she had him on sonar but uh, he goes dark. Probably should have used my reload booster there. But because we didn't, that's actually going to play out in our favor. Because we're about to get uh, the opportunity of a lifetime. We've got a broadside Cleveland here. We're waiting for the opportunity to potentially take the shot. Cleveland's not the one that we're able to shoot. So we quickly switch targets to go back towards the Suja. Can we hit the Suja? The answer is yes, and we get a very good result. 12,000 damage, no citadels, but we managed to do okay. Ren is pushing up on the Akatsuki. Going to be able to finish him off really easily, uh, which you love to see. It's, that's the beauty of having a, a destroyer in your division. Like Being able to just know that they're going to be able to deal with that destroyer threat um, is, is huge. And that's going to allow us to push forward. Now, we do still have the hood off our right, uh, and we have the two cruisers off our bow. And I'm actually more worried about those cruisers. Now, there is a Fletcher off the left side. He's in fight with a Bismarck, I think, up close, which is probably not going to end in his favor, let's be honest. We already saw what, what a Bismarck can do to a destroyer at close range. It uh, doesn't end well for the destroyer. Hood over angles, turning back away, and uh, we're going to catch him. Pretty good shot here. Citadel, three pins, pretty solid result. We're up to 32,000 damage, and we're, not, we're just getting started. Um... You can see there are there are torpedoes going in, probably from the uh, Suja. We're going to come in and try to catch these cruisers. Like they, We know they're in front of the island, and we're going to try to put ourselves in. Sure enough, Cleveland gets spotted first. He's begging for it. We go ahead and take that shot. We're going to go ahead and use our reload booster here as well. Um, unfortunately, wasn't able to get quite as much damage as we'd like off the, the guy. And we managed to get freaking double fired for our trouble. So Suja's here begging for it. We just got slapped from the Missouri again. We completely forgot about the Missouri being over there. But we're about to be protected from him. Suja's full broadside. We take the shot with the reload booster ready to go. That's a guaranteed death strike pretty much. Like a Japanese cruiser at these ranges, broadside, like that's no joke. French magic bullets, no trouble getting through that. Uh, Cleveland, he's going to be over angled here. It looks like he's about to take a torpedo. We're going to go ahead and punch him in the butt. And we take over 11,000 damage and then he eats a torpedo and dies. So just like that, we managed to get rid of both of their cruisers, which is huge. That's all of their, their DPM gone. Then Hood thought he was coming back to help his teammates and now suddenly finds himself the only person left on this side of the map, which is one of the downsides when you uh, try to come back and help a team. Uh, you all, all the time... It happens to me anyway, where I'll try to help a guy and then they either run away or they, they die right before I get there. So then it's me versus everybody. And it's just, it's not a very fun situation to find yourself in. But we get a nasty hit on him, over 20,000 damage. He's turning towards us, which is the wrong move to make here. He should have been turned away from us. But uh, we're going to slap him again. And uh, he's very lucky that those shells just did nothing. Like, he got very, very lucky. But you're not going to rely on that to happen 
very, very often. Like, that's not, it's not gonna happen. Uh, he's actually showed, shooting HE out of his hood too, which tells me he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, hood is an AP boat for sure, but uh, that is gonna be a slap. And there, we know we're getting a good hit. Anytime you see that almost purely horizontal dispersion, you know you're about to slap somebody. Especially with French magic bullets. But that, I love horizontal dispersion more than anything. But here, we're going to try to make sure we finish him off. Uh, he's got the, the HE still loaded. We aim high here. We know we overmatch his bow too. Uh, so, we knew he was dead. Uh, torpedoes coming from the right. Not going to lie, caught me off guard. Didn't realize that the Sharnhorst was, was close enough to torp at us. But uh, here, I should have probably played this a little bit different. But I honestly thought that this Missouri was going to play with a little bit more um, gusto. And so we, we take a shot here into the superstructure gun area. Uh, don't knock out his guns, but we do manage to get a decent little pin. He gets a good hit on us, knocks one of our guns. Of course, we got to re refix that. We only get two guns. We can't be having them knocked out, especially in a duel when we only have 14k health. He's got more health than us. Like this is his his fight to lose. So we need all the firepower we can get. Try to get as much health off this guy as we can. Now look at the shard horse on the map behind us at the Bravo Cap. Like he's in a position to uh, counter us here if we're not careful. So we get a good shot there into the superstructure. We turn, we're able to get our guns a little bit angled. He slaps our gun uh, turret face plates. So he's not getting any pins there and he doesn't knock out the turret. Here I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna go for a drive bite. Nope, nope, this guy goes full ramming speed and I'm out of options. I can no longer turn to the right to get away. Uh, we're, we're stuck here. I have one more chance. Now remember, Iowa class battleships, not the best in terms of turning. So I thought maybe I could slip around him here if I tuck in the rear real quick. Uh, and we almost pull it off, but just not quite. Not quite enough. We did slap a superstructure one last time, hoping to get a good chunk off of him, but unfortunately that's the way this one ends i was really hoping that he wouldn't go for the ram there i don't blame him for going for a ram it doesn't really matter he gets a little bit extra damage he gets the kill uh but either way he was gonna die so it didn't matter there's only one guy left our team should easily be able to deal with him and this game's over we ended up 159,000 damage three kills you know that's gonna be a top of the leaderboard sort of situation and uh the team's easily going to be able to clean this guy up. There's, there's nothing left here. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like this, these these two games, I thought was a pretty good showcase of of just positioning and trying to make sure that you don't overextend and use the islands to your advantage. Pay attention to crossfires. We got crossfire twice, big time in that match. Um, you can get caught out like easily especially on small maps, so pay attention. 2,755 base XP. Ren coming in third on the team with 1,984. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Jean Bart's still pretty nasty, as always. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.